Hey everyone, it's Jamie from the Jamie Says YouTube channel and today we're in Tokyo or Chano Mizu to buy a new guitar. So we were staying in Akasaka and the nearest line that gets us to Ochano Mizu is Marunouchi, which is the red circle with the M in the middle. I'm leaving from exit 2, which takes you out basically to JR Ochano Mizu, but I didn't go on the JR lines. Ochano Mizu is known as the guitar district and you'll see why in a sec. There aren't many exits from this station and it takes you straight to Ochano Mizu. Here are all the guitar stores, but look who I bumped into. I bumped into my good internet friend SaberTiger5 on Instagram. Check him out, link in the description below. So the crazy thing about Ochano Mizu is even the used stores have great finds. This is the first store I went in and I was blown away by the Edwards Explorer model. And they also had a lot of Ibanez and ESP models also. So as you'll see in this video, I'm filming a lot of things that I'm interested in, mainly because I was looking to buy a guitar, like I said at the beginning. That M2 Deluxe was on my radar, but I already have an M2, so I'm not quite sure about getting another one with a single coil. I was looking around for the Digitech Bad Monkey pedal, because that one was on everyone's radar, it kind of blew up in price. The used stores are great, they're just as good as the new stores, and it's the best way to find hidden gems. My good friend Oliver loves the James Tyler guitars, so I thought I have to film them for him. I actually think the headstock looks really weird, but the guitar bodies themselves look lovely. And I really enjoyed this green Sir guitar, and it was just there as I was leaving. I almost walked straight past it. Now I actually forgot that a lot of Japanese stores don't like it when you film and take photos. So I then sulked off like a little child and looked at the other guitars that I wasn't really interested in. But here we have an Edwards, 39,800 yen is an absolute bargain. It did have a chip on the headstock so I didn't get that one but here's the rest of that store. There's literally something for everyone. I go up to this metal floor and oh my Jesus look at all of these absolute beauties. This is the metal section, as I'm sure you can imagine. Some amazing Ibanez guitars, some absolute collector's items here. The Paul Gilbert model, the Steve Vai. These Ibanez quilt tops are absolutely beautiful. So one thing to note about Japan in general, which we only learn after going for a few times, is that each store usually has multiple floors. So don't be afraid to get in a lift or go up the stairs. This, I think, was the fifth floor, which is the metal section probably keeping them away because they're all such loud, heavy, pointy guitars. Epic amp selection here too, the new DSP Quad Cortex, the orange pedal baby, the positive grid bias amp, some Kemper stuff, boss mini heads, we've got the positive grid spark, we've got loads of stuff. Here are some beautiful Gibsons, very expensive. And then actually on the ground floor of this store, we have the high-end stuff. So we've got T's guitars or T-S, P-R-S. We've got Sir. I love that purple and I love the plain wood finish. And that blue in the top left corner is lovely as well. Crazy thing about Japan, you'll find a lot of things outside of shops, which I think in the UK and maybe America, those wouldn't be there for very long. They would go walkabouts. And now on this trip, I'm trying to find Big Boss, which is basically ESP Custom Shop Tokyo. So this is actually an Edwards Alexi Leho guitar. Looks amazing. It's actually quite affordable as well. There's a white one. There's a Hatsune Miku tiny acoustic. This shop had two floors and actually was basically broke up into two stores because I found another ESP shop around the corner. So prior to my trip, my friend on Instagram, Alan, was in Japan as well. And he told me that he has a friend called JJ Wong, link in the description below for his Instagram, and he works at ESP Big Boss. I asked him if I could film in the store and he said, yep, yeah, no problem. So he set me up in the corner with my tripod and a Marshall amp. Sounded amazing. So I compared the Edwards Alexi Leho and the ESP version. These are really long videos. So stay tuned for an entire video comparing the two but I loved both of them equally. 
So then JJ surprised me with a pen and a plaque and he said, can you sign this for us and we will put it on the wall with a photo of me and you together. Couldn't believe it. I was absolutely honored. So at this point in the story, I didn't really know what I was doing. I actually was a bit overwhelmed by all the guitars. I was a bit disappointed at the same time because there were some things I thought I would see and I didn't see them. Last time I went in 2018, there was Ibanez's everywhere. There were swirls, there were gems, and I was like, I could have bought any of these. I even saw some ESP Explorers in 2018, and I'm kicking myself I didn't even try them, let alone buy one. I mean, they were very expensive, so I couldn't have even bought one, but still, that's not the point. So I said to Jay, I'm gonna go for some lunch now. I'll come back later. Like I said, I just signed a plaque. I wasn't expecting that. That was very nice of him, and I don't really think I'm a big deal, so for me, that was super humbling and a bit overwhelming. Had some lunch, went to some other stores, went back to previous stores, played stuff that I'd already played before, and was like, hmm, do I want this? I'm not sure, could I buy this in the UK or Europe? Could I just ship it to myself? I'm not really sure. I really wanted something that stood out. I wanted something that was you know, uniquely Japanese, maybe made in Japan, or you could only get it in Japan. And my decision maker wasn't with me. My partner was at home resting in the hotel. So I said, I'm gonna come home now. I don't think I'm even gonna buy a guitar, I'm not sure. And she's like, well, you have to buy one because that was the whole point of us coming to watch China Mizu. Tell you what, come back, come get me, and we'll go back together later. So we did just that. We went back, we went to other stores. I showed her around, I showed her the ones I liked. There were some she instantly said, no, I hate that one. And there were some where she said, this one's quite cool. And I was a bit like, oh, I don't really, I'm not really sure. So then we went back to Big Boss and I settled on this blue absolute beauty of an Edwards guitar. Now, I didn't know this until my Japan trip from speaking to Jay. And, you know, I've been to Japan a few times and I'm a huge ESP fan. Edwards, which I've known about for years, is actually basically the Japanese equivalent of LTD. LTD is only really for worldwide audiences, not for Japan. It's what would be considered an import guitar, which is why they don't have things like the Kirk Hammett Flying V, the new one. They don't have the Josh Middleton signature because those are LTD guitars. And there's a lot of Japanese guitarists who will only have Edward signatures. So this guitar you might recognize is very similar to the old Horizon series, which ESP used to make in the West. The guys in Parkway Drive used to play them and it has the kind of teardrop headstock. So I fell in love with it. I played it for a bit. I played drop D, I played some riffs and I loved it. The pickups were Seymour Duncan Black Winters. I will do a video on it soon properly. I am putting Fisherman's in it as well, but it was great. I played it, I loved it. I had another photo shoot with the guys and it was an overall amazing experience. So there you have it everyone. That was my trip in Japan. Let me know in the comment section below which guitars stood out to you. Did I film any that were absolute gems and I completely missed them? A lot of them were expensive, so I couldn't have bought lots anyway, even if I wanted to. Like the video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of these kind of Japan tours or tours of anywhere else in the world. I've got lots of footage of Japan from before when I've been five times so far. So maybe I can edit them if you want to see them. And if you're new to the channel and you found it through this video, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because then you'll be notified when I post new videos. See you guys very soon. Thank you again. Goodbye.